Guess what just arrived? I think we're going to really surprise Sylvester with this. Hey guys! And welcome to today's video. Lumi looks really disheveled. I just cleaned up the guinea pig's cage, or rather I cleaned out the bedding part of the cage and you can see that Lumi has a lot of bedding on her head. She probably scratched herself. And she has, she's a Rex guinea pig, so her hair is just really fluffy. She looks like a little lamb. Um, but also the bedding sticks to it really well. So the other guinea pigs, whenever they walk around, the bedding falls off. But Lumi's fur is just, like, everything sticks to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's also a longer hair on her back, which probably belongs to Lulu, because she has really, really long hair. And it's just stuck to Lumi's side. I wanted to film an updated cleaning routine for this cage anyway, but um, I just wanted to show you, like, usually when I clean the cage, I turn on the TV and often watch Netflix um, while I'm doing that. So I'm currently watching Cheer, which I've just gotten into and I've only watched three episodes, oh, like, more like two and a half episodes of it. But so far it's really interesting, and so I'm watching this while cleaning the guinea pig's cage because it does take quite a while um, doing all of that and the guinea pigs very often like sometimes they interact with me but then also sometimes they just know which area of the cage I clean so I have two fleece liners and then the other half of the cage is some bedding um, and so the guinea pigs always know that when I'm cleaning this side they go to the fleece liner side and when I'm cleaning the fleece liners they go to the bedding side so sometimes they interact with me but sometimes they just completely ignore me and go to the other side of the cage and just hang out there and pretty much ignore me. Um, so when they ignore me, I just watch TV. I just have the TV on in the background and catch up on something my TV suggests to me. <laughs> in this case, it was cheer, um, which I really like. So that was a really good suggestion. Thank you, TV. These two, by the way, have started to become really good friends. So Nugget and Lumi. You saw them in... Was it last week's vlog or the vlog before that? Um, where they were running around outside and just being really crazy. Um, so these two have started hanging out a lot. And you sometimes see them sitting in one corner and just hanging out. Um, so these two have become really good friends. I'm going to give them some chicory as a morning snack today. Lumi, do you need a chill cam as well? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of Gatsby's thing, but... Okay, I'm going to get some chicory for the guinea pigs. And as soon as I mention the word chicory, Gatsby is on the move. So Sylvester is our senior guinea pig, and I talked about it in a video from a couple of weeks ago. He is turning seven this year, so he's a really old guinea pig. And Sylvester has always been the perfect boar in this group. When a couple of years ago one of my guinea pigs had a baby, he immediately adopted the baby even though the baby was male um, and they live together in a really peaceful herd. Sylvester is always keeping the peace in this herd even with the young guinea pigs. He's, Even though he's seven, he's always keeping the peace and if the young guinea pigs are acting kind of out, he's always there to calm everyone down and he also never bites anyone. He isn't super territorial. He is really the perfect leader in this group. Sometimes he can be very strict and stop fighting between the guinea pigs, but he also very often just lets them do their own thing and he isn't really threatened by anyone. He's just a natural leader, if you want to call it that. He really is the perfect guinea pig and He's turning seven this year, so he just deserves to have the best of everything. So Sylvester is, some, is getting something really, really awesome today. funniest thing just happened, Sylvester ran off with a piece of chicory and he ran 
on the guinea pig bridge and had this entire piece to himself and the others just heard him too and were looking for the piece and were just running around. And Sylvester managed to eat the entire piece of chicory up on the guinea pig bridge and he looks quite pleased with himself, huh Sylvester? <laughs> But Sylvester had it all for himself. Now Lulu is eating his eye out of revenge. I'm back from work and the guinea pigs are waiting for me. Hello Nugget, hello Gatsby. Because they emptied the hay racks. We are currently having to make do with the less than ideal supermarket hay because um, I ordered new hay and it's in delivery right now, so and it should be delivered today um, But we ran out of The farm hay yesterday evening. I always feel kind of bad when I get hay delivered and it says hay in really big letters on this huge box um, And the postman has to deliver it But I don't really have any chance of buying this type of hay in a pet store because they only have smaller packages and I'm not really that happy with the quality of a lot of the hay. So ordering the farm hay online and then getting it delivered is really the only chance Sylvester has of getting his favorite hay. Right Sylvester? And you need your favorite hay. Okay, I'm going to let the guinea pigs eat their hay and then I think Gatsby, what's up? I think I just broke Gatsby. Gatsby! Are you okay? Gatsby, are you having an existential crisis? Okay. Existential crisis is over. Gatsby's happy again. <laughs> Gatsby, you're a funny one. Guess what just arrived? I think we're going to really surprise Sylvester with this. So much hay for the guinea pigs. Sylvester is going to be so happy. Oh, Lulu is smelling all of that hay. So I think what we're going to do to make Sylvester super, super happy, and Lulu apparently is, we're not only going to fill the hay rack, but this is going to be a huge surprise for our favorite Sylvester. We're just going to put hay everywhere because Sylvester loves to sleep on hay on the, and he loves to snuggle with hay and he loves to hide in hay. So let's go. These two are somehow managing to snack the hay out of the box. Ah, I see the package is fully closed. <laughs> Gatsby is taking matters into her own hands. Or more like into her own teeth. Okay, I'm currently getting ready to build Sylvester's hay paradise, so I put two willow bridges in, which are kind of near the hay racks, and I'm going to put hay on top of them, I think, so that we have hay really everywhere in that cage. Sylvester is super excited already. Cannot stop rumble strutting. Oh wow, it's a piggy dream come true. We not only have a new cage set up, we also have lots of hay. <laughs> Sylvester cannot stop from strutting. Okay, Sylvester, ready? Okay. Let's start off boring by just putting hay in the hay rack. What is it with existential crisis mode today, Gatsby? Hey, 
Sylvester. Look what I have for you. Yeah. That's the yummy part. Whoa! I'm really happy with the finished look of things. Okay, so with these Heidi's we kind of built our own hay house. So the guinea pigs um, right now are busy eating and they have tons of hay but at one point they're probably going to drag all of that hay inside the house and they can snuggle on it. They now have so many places to hide because there's hay everywhere. This is pretty much a DIY hay tunnel, so... And this is a very natural Heidi for the guinea pigs. They love really dark tunnels, that's how they would live in nature. Look at Gatsby's tiny little paw holding the willow bridge. Not sure if you can see it, but there is Lumi trying to build a tunnel. And there is our very, very happy big boss. Having a really awesome day. And Sylvester has slowly chewed his way through the hay tunnel. Well, I think with this happy face, I'm going to end today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Sylvester certainly did. And see you guys next time.